Hey y'all, it's me again. In this video I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the Minecraft mob vote. Because frankly, I'm pretty tired of it. The way things have been going have been extremely undesirable for me. But first I'm going to give a bit of background on uh, my experience with Minecraft and then what I want to happen. I've been playing this game since I was 8 years old, so that's a good 12 years of off and on playing. So I, I know my way around the game relatively well. I'm not like a super uber nerd expert on this, but I have my opinions, alright? So my general idea here is centered around the idea of continuing the vote, but either including everything if the vote is relatively equalized, or to vote one out. Because you can see in the votes, generally, one will be pretty low, and the other two will be pretty close. Because people are trying to decide which one would have the least amount of use, when overall, all of them, you would have to go out of your way to find. So I don't think it would cause much harm to just include everything. So for my first example, I'm going to use the, uh, the 20 20 vote. So with the Moobloom, we've got 28% Ice Solager, 34.8%, and then the Glow Squid, 36.9%. That's pretty split, right? Even with Dream or whoever the hell going out of their way to say vote the Glow Squid, that's still pretty split. All of those are pretty cool. Personally, I like the Moobloom. I just think that's cool. It's just a cow, you know, it's a cow that has flowers. It's great. But why not all of them? The glow squid literally doesn't do anything. It's a retextured squid that creates one item. Like you can make a you can make one object out of it. Like who cares about that? And I see them more than regular squids anyways. Like I, I don't want this. I don't care. Isolager, maybe you could uh you know, more more pillager variety. And the Moo Bloom is just another mushroom. That's pretty cool. I like it. They're all just they're all just retextured characters. The the Isolager would probably do the most, but you know, they're, they're, they're all relatively simple. Besides the fact that you'd still have to go out of your way to find these mobs. In the end, it came out with Glow Squid getting 52% and Isolager getting 47%, uh, with the Moobloom losing out. This vote is a good example for my vote one out idea. If we are going to go for that method, at least include the Isolager and the Glow Squid. Because clearly people didn't care that much about the Moobloom. But really, at the same time, it's so simple and so useless. Like, why not? At the worst, you would maybe walk past it on a on a long adventure and be like, "Oh, hey, that's a that's something they added a year ago. That's pretty cool." But why why would it be a problem? It's not like there's a, a manpower issue here. It's not like there's a funding problem. We're talking about the the biggest, most sold game to ever exist. This is backed by Microsoft. Like, have you seen? the things that they do for their sponsorship collaborations. They'll completely change the game. They'll add like Nikes on the characters just just over the course of a weekend. But anyways, at least include all of them. If not, just Isolager as well. Like the Moobloom doesn't even really do anything. It's just a it's just a little like background thing. Like you'd have to go out of your way to look for it. Going into the 2021 vote with the Glare getting 11.2%, the Alley 51%, the Copper Golem getting 37.8%. Even though the Alley won, I never see this thing. I I would have to go out of my way to find it, spawn it in creative mode. I never use this. Copper Golem pushes buttons, whatever. It it's just a little little thing that goes around and pushes buttons. It's not. It's not that complicated. There's literally mods out there right now that include this. It's like a single person can do this on their own. I, I don't understand why it takes a whole company months to come up with the idea and then create a whole vote system for it and still proceed to lazily shart one out on top of whatever other features they end up adding and still have it feel lacking. Like when they added copper, you it has like two crafting recipes and it's everywhere. At least create mod, uh, give some options of things to do with it, right? You can make like pipes and stuff. But in the base game, it's 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 lightning rods, which are again, only applicable in very specific situations and copper, which just kind of gets crusty and old over time. Like who, why why would I ever use that? Like it's, it's cool. Like, of course I I can ignore it if I want to. Like it's, it's one of those things where I can just, I can block it out. It doesn't really matter. I can mine around it. And the people that want to use it can use it. Cool. Just, just add it all. Just add all of it. Vote, may, vote one out. Like the glare, 11%. I don't care about the glare. That can go away. I don't, I'm not worried about it. That's, that's substantial enough to say the glare doesn't matter, but people want the alley and people want the copper golem. But continuing on to 2022, you got the sniffer, the rascal and the tough golem. Rascal 27%, sniffer 55% and the tough golem at 17.2%. For this mob vote, I feel like it's fair to say that the sniffer definitely won this one uh, with 55% uh, over the 27 and 17 thing. Like the sniffer seems, it just seemed the biggest. Like it seemed like it had the higher chance of doing something where in reality you have to go out of your way to find some like mystical egg that gives you a seed that 
gives you a flower that doesn't do anything like like great there's uh there's some more options for people in creative mode or people that just want to complete some kind of goal but I, I don't know much about the rascal but with the with the tough golem literally all this thing could do is pick up two items and drop them that's it it's just a walking item frame like we already have boats with chests minecarts with chests minecarts with hoppers there's no, I don't know why this would be included in the vote, but again, it's one of those things where it could get voted out or just simply included. And if it had some random redstone purpose, then cool. And that 17.2% of people that voted for it, they can have it as long as it's not shoved in our faces like, uh, like the glow squid where it's just goddamn everywhere. Like if you had to go out of your way to make it or find it, then great, they can have it. It's not it's not necessarily muddying the game. It's it's just a, another feature that you can you can engage with if you choose. When it comes to these mob votes, I feel like they're leaning too heavily on it. It's they they put one in and then the rest just get ignored. Like I, I highly doubt, for example, the moo bloom is ever going to be added since it just it, it happened to lose. So it's just not on the table anymore, and that's really disappointing. To get into the 2023 vote though. We've got the crab, which lets you interact with blocks further, uh, and spawns in mangrove, swamps, armadillos, uh, let you craft wolf armor, and the penguin, which boosts your boat speed. I feel like all of these options are pretty solid. These guys definitely have more use than the 2022 vote did, but I don't want to miss out on the other two, you know? Maybe let's say they vote for the armadillo, armadillo wins, then they could just add the crab and the penguin anyways, but just keep them, keep them simple and flesh out the armadillo the most. Have wolf armor be craftable, uh, with like iron and diamonds and stuff. Add in the ability to craft horse armor, but make it very resource intensive so that it encourages players to continue to go out and look for it in naturally generated structures. I don't think there's a reason to throw these ideas out and never come back to them just because they scored a little bit lower on, on a vote, especially when it can be so heavily swayed by outside sources. Ultimately, I just want to see what's best for this game and for the community. I feel that the mob vote is a good way for the community to interact with the developers and show what they're interested in and to give something to talk about to keep the game alive. It's a, it's a good strategy, but if you don't like it, definitely speak up about it, because if you don't speak up, then nobody's going to hear you. But these were just my thoughts on it. If you agree or disagree, let me know. Uh, I'm curious to see what other people think, so I'm open to talk about it. Please let me know what you think. Because when it comes to something like this, like a vote with consumer interaction, the best way to make something happen is to talk about it, even if it's stupid, even if other people won't agree with your idea, just get it out there and maybe things will change. But whatever happens, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm insanely appreciative for the support I've gotten over the past couple months. I could have never imagined for one of my videos to get over 700,000 views, especially one I made in an hour, but regardless, even if I accidentally picked up the kid's side of YouTube, I appreciate the support and the care I've gotten, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.